this is my install video for Pac-Man ROM. I'll provide you the links below in the description where you can get the ROM from. I will tell you ahead of time that the forms are not as friendly as I'd like them to be as far as uh, letting you know which versions are KitKat. Um, in fact, to be quite honest with you, I may not have downloaded KitKat. Their naming doesn't uh, give you much information, and it's all in a basket build folder. So, I've already got it back up, so I'm just going to wipe. Dalvik, system, data, cache, do not wipe your internal storage. Just because this is a pretty easy thing to do. Go back, I'm going to go factory reset. It takes a couple seconds. It's done. Install. All right. Let's find it here. Pack D800 Nightly. All right. And the gaps package I have here is 227, but I know that I have Instructions don't say anything about having to flash Super SU, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to pause this while this goes. Well, I can say the good news is, judging from there, that uh, there that was 4.4. So let's reboot the system and see if we get a boot. I cannot wait to get a real camera. Oh, this is new. Huh. I'm going to pause this while that's going. All right, so I've given it 10 minutes. I'm going to go through here. Of course, I'm going to pause it. Okay, here it goes. This is the usual stuff here. Restoring. You notice up here the uh, progress bar is uh, very colorful. Let that go. I'll, okay, there we go. Alright, we're using the Google Now Launcher. It's kind of cool, it translates into the Play Store as well. Let's pause that while that's happening. Alright, so interestingly enough, knock on and knock off don't seem to be working. So I'm going to guess there's something in the settings here. So we'll go through the settings here at the same time. Lock screen settings, okay. Slider shortcuts, button actions, battery status, custom widgets clock widget settings, Maxwell's widget slider torch, okay, so I got slider torch there, alright, Pac-Man in black, which I didn't use Pac-Man or a uh, TARDIS style gaps package as you saw in the install video, so I'm not going to mess with that, pack pellets status bar, okay, so there's your options there, show battery percent, battery bar location, Signal style, double tap to sleep, all right. Breathing SMS. Custom progress bar. Okay, so you can even change this. So that was something we saw in uh, Beanstalk. Quick settings panel, quick pull down. Okay, auto close, tiles layout, okay. Sound modes. 
screen timeout modes. All right, dynamic tiles here, flip tiles, tiles per row. Okay, so you can do some customizing. Pretty good there. Notification drawer style, so you can change the background image. Let's do that right quick and see what happens. So yeah, that works. Textual notifications, swipe to switch detection, show Wi-Fi network name, show and your custom carrier label. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go through this quickly. I don't want to make this video too long. Lock screen notifications, that's welcome to see. And pocket mode, we'll see how pocket mode impacts this ROM. It did a pretty good job on uh, the latest pair on Android. In fact, it did a really good job on the latest pair on Android. Active display, no thank you, but it's there in case you like it. Uh, it's there. App bar. App bar is here. Gesture anywhere. I'll test that as well. Identicons. Use Identicons to, as default contact picture when creating a new contact. Okay, so that's interesting. I'll try that out. Okay, zip align. Fix permissions. Okay, wow, we have some. Uh, Pretty nice tweaks here. Okay. Build prop mods. There's your warning. Super user grant is that answers that question about super user earlier. Wi Fi scan interval, PM sleep mode, Delvet cache. Okay. Proximity sensor delay. why this continues to populate here. Hmm. Weather. Weather widget. Enable weather. Weather to pull down weather information. Display it throughout the ROM. I don't know where it'll pull up at. Well, I'll test that later. Recent app panel. Toast animation. Oh, it just keeps going. Expand desktop. Navigation bar dimensions. We can shorten that. I won't mess with that until I get done with the navigation ring. Left hand mode, suspend actions, wake clock blocker. Okay. Okay, so they're paranoid Android feature, so okay. Okay, here. That's Pac-Man pellets. Pack console. Whoop. As I'm kicking the tripod here. Okay, update. So it's like we got uh, quick access updates and change log. Okay. Still not sure what that's still posting there, but whatever. Sounds. See if there's any sound changes in here. See if sound packs are here. I don't see it, but again, it was gimmicky. Anyways, okay. So display and lights. You can turn it off. It's there. It keeps getting super user access. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Double tap to wake. So let's go back over here. Double tap to wake. Let's try to turn that off. Turning it back on. Okay. All right. Now 
it's working. Good. Okay. Battery. Don't look like anything special there. More. What do we have here? Display color. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything else extra. Let's go to about phone. LG D800 4.4.2. Using their kernel for now. I might try and use uh, Housen's Paranoid Android kernel though later. We'll see how that goes. And of course, I will test other kernels. You know I do. So look forward to this review. Probably this is a pretty loaded ROM. I'm hoping if it doesn't have a lot of issues um, to have a review by Saturday. If I have a lot of issues, it won't be until Tuesday. So we'll see.